Hey guys, Scorm Scourge here. Thank you for joining me again on another video. Today we will be showing off this section here that I built in the last time lapse, right on over here. I've completed the wall as you saw in the time lapse, and I am pretty happy with this. If you have any other ideas on how I should do the defenses of the wall, let me know. And I also completed the, uh, the, what I'd call the administration, or the barracks part of the, um, well, most of the barracks, actually. I just completed the officer's mess, or barracks area, or as it's called. And there's supposed to be, like, the regular guard section, which will probably be in the next episode. So, um... Yeah, so let's go take a look at uh, everything. So first, coming off over here, I haven't completed the terrain for this yet. I do like the terrain going up steeper, so I might do a little bit of layered at the bottom with it going steeper, steeper as it go up like that. Because I want to keep it as, as uh, terrain generated as possible. But, um, first coming on over here to take a look, we have the, uh, this tower over here, and then the back side of the barracks. Uh, so let's go right on in. And it was really fun to make, so I'm very happy with how everything turned out. So right here on the back side, what I did was I saw these um, support beams, these cross beams that we have in the mod, and I just flipped them upside down to use as support beams for the stairwell going up. In the time lapse, you saw the stairs going all the way up within the wall itself, and I expanded it after the time lapse. I expanded it, so then there's this little section here for defenses here, and this section here as well. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, and then coming up here, we have a walkway for the... Uh, guards to walk around on and it does overhang in most of the parts of it except for where the stairs come up but I'm very happy with how it turned out the first part we're gonna go in is right on over here where um where we go up into the upstairs part of the tower and um it's more like a guards area and taking inspiration from the um, dress, dress rulers towers and stuff that's pretty much what I did except actually this is a little messed up this is supposed to look like that so I'll just fix that there there we go perfect so just the interiors of the tower here is more of a guard station here with a little bit of a overlook here for a guard to signal that someone's coming or anything like that and a little bit of a bell that they can chime as well so I'm very happy with that and um, I normally don't use ladders that much in my build because I dislike them, like going up to like many floors, but I understand like in towers going up to attic, you might need them, but I just dislike using ladders in general. And then up here, we have uh, a bit of a storage area. Obviously someone comes up here and gambles and... There's a rat up here as well. I don't think the rat knocked over the barrel, but anything's possible here in this world of Phaedra.
And so we'll leave and we will uh, just hop on over. And continue right around to the uh, other side. So I'll meet you right on over there. All right, so coming up here, we have two sections here. Um, we have a bookseller's above the uh, magic shop, the potion shop, and um, where they sell scrolls and stuff. And this is the beginning of the barracks. The rest of the barracks for the regular soldiers is going to be underground, and it's going to meet up with the temple complex that is built mainly underground except for the main entrance which is going to be sticking out of it but it's going to be very um i think it's going to look good from what i'm thinking in my mind a lot of times when building i had this problem with the roof coming up to this level here and uh the wandering traders would come up onto the roof and they'd end up here so i built this here as a way to stop them. I might build something else here. Just to let me know if you have any ideas. Then probably it's going to be. Like maybe a blacksmith up here. I'm not sure. It might mess with the vibe of the temple. That will be up. Like right on this level up here. I'm not sure what I want to do yet. But uh. Yeah. So the first thing we're going to look at. Is this uh bookshop here within the monastery i'm very happy with it or maybe it's a library i don't know but um i'm very happy with on how it turned out within the um tower here and we are not using shaders only because i don't really want to lag when doing the show around and i find that it looks just as good without without shaders too, so that's fine. Maybe when I upgrade my PC, I'll use shaders again, but for now I won't. So as you can see, there's a lot of different bookshelves and seating areas all over the place that you can sit and relax and do whatever you need to in here. And then coming up here, we have more book cases with different things up here that maybe someone needs to learn. I was thinking more of like a maester study or a study for the um, monks or whatever, pretty much. I was watching a little bit of Game of Thrones even though I completed it all. I hated the ending, the last season of it, probably as most people do, but um. But that's pretty much what I was thinking. I was thinking of more of a uh, study for the um, monks and maybe they can sell out books or lend out books or something. And they have a small fireplace to keep the area warm. So I'm very happy with how it turned out. Uh, the first part we're going to go into is the dining hall. We're going to go into this section afterwards um, because that extends up over into here. The first part of the time lap that you saw built was just this building right here and it looks really good. I'm really happy. Um, and then I added on this one as you saw in the time lap but this is more of the dining hall. When playing on 1.12 with um, on the server on the Darwin Report server they have um, player heads and stuff and I was able to get a hold of these by finding the player heads on line and using a command block gives you the command of the player head so I was able to put in these statues and these are supposed to be the statues of 
by the door and Willem, maybe. I think. I don't know. But since this is for the barracks, who knows? There's going to be a separate dining hall for the monks. But, um, this is for the barracks, and they obviously don't have any food out or anything. But the, uh, sleeping quarters I'm going to build into the side of the mountain right over here and it should turn out pretty good it's gonna like open up on some part of this wall here and um as i mentioned with the um last video i did over in calum for soror i don't really put bathrooms in that much so i thought about it and i added in these bathrooms and there's two of them two separate bathrooms not really for the different like genders or anything because there's many different races besides humans but there's more for the um just two different bathrooms it just felt like it make made sense and coming up here even though i'm sure it smells there's another guard section where guards can look out over the uh, causeway or whatever there was a pond that I originally built down there, but I decided it to be, um, halfway up. And I believe this looks pretty good, too. And coming back down, we're going to head into the other room, the other part of the building. So I'm very happy with on how the um on how this room turned out. And then coming on into the main part of the barracks, there are two entryways. One is this way here, the main entrance. And this is more for guards getting up onto the uh, battlements here with a little bit of extra areas where they can toss rocks down or whatever that they need to throw down there. On here we have, um, this is pretty much the waiting area and an area for a clerk to work. Basically, somebody who will sort out all the mail or whatever, whatever the captain of the guard wants. And if anyone's waiting, they can sit in here and wait to speak to the captain of the guard. And I'm really happy with uh, how this room turned out. Coming on into this next room... We have the captain of the guards room. In this room, I actually took a picture from Kingdom Come Deliverance, one of the maps, and put it right on in there. I just like on how the uh, map art looks, so I put that in there to be added in. I think it looks pretty good. And this is the captain of the guard here with this chair using one of the victory mod uh, blocks as the chair backing. And going downstairs first, we're going to come into the storage area and the uh, armory. So here we have a lot of um, a lot of open space. There isn't really much stored here because they have the warehouse for the monastery too. So this is more like things that they don't need often. Maybe stuff for when they're going to protect pilgrims off to a shrine off in the woods for Andraste or something. Maybe they'll store like old. Uh, armor sets here or whatever they need so there isn't really that much that they need but the section is here if they do or if 
they're under siege, maybe they'll bring down more and um, for like food and stuff like that, like they did in medieval times. There's a small seating area for the guards here. They're obviously playing a game. Coming in here, there's defensive areas of the um, monastery as well with these arrow loops. If I can actually step into them. There we go. And they have a clear shot right on down the road and whatever's coming up. And in here, it, I meant to put an NPC as the, um, I forgot what the job title is, it's, uh, anyway, that's the guy who basically requisitions all the arms and armor and stuff like that, but anyway, coming on in here is the armory, taking inspiration from other armories I've seen from around the Darwin Report servers just putting these back to back and stuff I thought it was a great idea to also uh, hang up the uh, shields and this actually is a mod it is a um, it will be listed down below but it's like the knight armor mod so it gives more medieval armor so Maybe the armor's in some of these, like, drawers or whatever. Even though they're big and funky, but here's at least two of them. And this is a painting from the, uh, Artifact Overlay. As well. So, I'm very happy with how the small armory turned out. It doesn't have to be too big, because it's not really a big army like you'd see in a castle or for a lord but um i am happy with how it turned out so we are going to go up to the very tip top floor and we are going to go look at the officer's barracks the first room we're going to go in is the captain of the guard room he has his own room that one guy in the office that's just standing by the window a very spacious room and uh, the colors of the monastery is green so that's why there's so much green all around I try to stick to those colors as much as I can an area to play a uh, hard game a bed to sleep in and a fireplace to sit and relax by and I'm very happy with how it turned out as well as this um, porch here. And I am also happy with them how the ceiling looks as well with the beam work and everything. So obviously the captain of the guard has a pretty lavish lifestyle to have his own room this big. Coming on into the next section is for the rest of the junior officers to stay in. This isn't the regular barracks, not for the like the privates or whatever rankings they have here, but there's more beam work that I did. And I placed down uh, more victory mod beds as well. So there's obviously five officers here. Or maybe they're the captain's knights or whatever you want to call them. There's an area for them to socialize, a fire to keep them warm. And I'm very happy with how this turned out as well. So we're going to head out and um, I'll be with you guys in just a second. Thank you. 
All right, guys, I do hope you enjoyed that show around. It was rather a fast video, I think, with everything that I've built. I'm very happy with how it turned out. I've learned something cool on the Create mod that's going to be in the next time lapse um, and stuff. I'm planning on starting that very soon. And um, we'll start building up the uh, temple and everything that's needed for the monastery. And uh, we'll probably be finishing this build up in a couple more episodes and adding in some more smaller details as needed, probably off camera. So, as always, leave a like, leave a comment below. Let me know what you enjoyed the most, what you think of the officers part of the barracks. And uh, if you have any other ideas on anything that should be built in here, let me know down below in the comments. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed. That way you can stay up to date with my videos and releases by hitting that notification bell. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.